everyone, I've got a few things to show you today, some dolly updates if you like. Um, the first thing I've got to show you is some happy mail, uh, some surprise happy mail that I received from Dexter, my friend Dexter over at Dexter Main. I'll link his channel in the description box below. And uh, yes, I received this parcel yesterday with a little note saying, Hi Jay, I've been downsizing my doll collection and I thought you would like these girls. I hope you use them, Dexter. So thank you, Dexter. And they're lovely. Look at this. Put them in one of these little packets. So that's really handy. Um, three girls I've got. So there's this girl. I love this dress, the pink and turquoise. Absolutely love it. And look, she's got turquoise in her hair too. And then she's got on these little shoes. I love those shoes. Thank you so much, Dexter. She's lovely. And then we've got this girl. She's a fashionista. She's the one, I think she's called, is she the kitty one? She might be. But yeah, look at her. I love her. I love her hair as well. She's lovely. She's a petite girl. And Dexter's put her in this little lab coat on. <laughs> so that's her. Yeah, I think she's called, I think she comes in a red dress with cats on it. I think so. But she's lovely. And then a third one. So I, I don't know whether this girl is from the same series as this girl. Possibly. But look at her. She's got pink in her hair. And she's got this dress. This pink dress on with... Um, she's got something on under there actually. Oh, she's a... Look at this. She must be a... Um, like a mermaid one. Because she's got a moulded on cosy underneath but that dress covers that fine doesn't it you can't see that under there look at that so she's that girl but she's lovely thank you so much dexter oh looking looking at it i can see that this girl also has on a molded um cosy oh nice yeah brilliant so that was really nice of you dexter thank you very much i really appreciate those and look at her shoes she's got some nice little shoes on as well lovely thank you dexter that's really nice of you and i will indeed use them <laughs> yeah that little dress covers that i i didn't even know that they'd got um molded cozies on look i might make something similar for some of my other dolls perfect so what else um i've been doing a bit of sewing again uh, first I've made my Integrity Girl a, this is a skirt and this is like a corset top and I made that top real easily, there's um, no sewing involved in that top. I used this, it's like a pleather material that I got from AliExpress um, and it, it looks leathery on this side and it's soft on the other and it's easy to sew and it's um, you know easily to easy to mold and stuff and i've got it to make shoes with but i thought oh wouldn't it look nice like leather and lace for her so it's laced up at the back with a ribbon i basically cut the shape out um punched some holes down each side of here and threaded the ribbon through to make the um corset and then to do the skirt was literally just fold over the top and put some elastic through and make a back seam. And also I lined it with plain black material, otherwise you could see straight through it. But it does look good if you have it lower down as well. So that was that one. And then I made a gothic dress for my Amelia goth girl. So she's got like a lace under top on. I wrapped some lace around and it's fastened at the back with press studs and then I put her corset as a front fastening one. It's literally just a strip of that pleather with the holes punched and some ribbon through and she's got the same sort of skirt but rather than lining it with black it's folded in half so it doesn't need a lining. So that's Amelia's little gothic dress I really like that it came out really well and was easy to make it's a it's a pleasure when that happens it's a uh, a lovely surprise and then I've been sewing this this is a little pair of um 
collots that I made for my Blythe doll. So that was that. I think I've already showed you that. And then I made these little shorts. These are little gathered around the bottom and I made her this little top to match. And to make the top, this is the same top I use for a dress. There's the what I would normally be the front. I've just turned it around, added a little bit of lace to the bottom and um, I've done it, fastened it with press studs, but I've put the buttons on for decoration. I thought that came out really well, actually. It's like a little um, shirt. So I was pleased with how that shirt came out and I'll be making some more of those. What I'll do, I'll just lengthen my top um, to make a longer shirt. I got these girls from eBay. So I got three of these dolls. They're really cute and they've all got clothes on and I paid less than 10 pounds for them. She's got these little shoes on, cute little shoes. They're Annabelle tween dolls, that's what they are. So there's one, then there's this one. They're all actually the same doll, but they're all wearing different clothes and different shoes. She's got these shoes on, which I don't know whether they're her actual shoes. There's nothing on them, but yeah, they could be her actual shoes, but they look a lot bigger than those other ones, don't they? They're like trainers. And then these trousers that she's got on are way too big, but I could make them fitter if I wanted to, couldn't I? And she seems to have some kind of stain here. But what I'm thinking is, if, I, if that doesn't come out in the wash, I can put one of my tattoo um, transfers over that once it's clean and washed. And that will cover up that. It's like a little, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a little pinky stain. Yeah, I've got some quite large, like, unicorn tattoos I could, or mermaid ones. I could put one of those on it. And then the third one is this girl. Love this dress that she's got on. Uh, and she's also got on a beret, but she's missing a button. So I'll remove that button and I'll put two matching ones on there. Lovely, that little dress is. Look how it's gathered at the back, look. And then it's got the ribbon around there tied. Really pretty that little dress is, I really like it. I love the colour. I got a few AliExpress bits as well. So I got some more lace. I got this in pink, really love that. And I can use that with different coloured um, laces now. You know, I've got, I've got lots of the cream, so I wanted some in a different colour. So I got the pink and then I got some of this, which I thought was fun. It's a polka dot. It's not as broad as I thought it was, but I think you could use it like at the bottom of a dress for a trim, but it is pretty. I love how brightly colored it is. So that was that. Yeah, it'd be all right for a trim, wouldn't it, I think? Like on a skirt or a blithe dress, or maybe even on the bottom of one of these little shirts, you could just put a bit of that around the bottom couldn't you especially if it was with trousers i think that would go all right with that then i got these these are nail art stickers and they come off with water you put them in water and they like float off and i thought they'd be good for doll tattoos and there's lots of different so there's flowers lots of different flower ones there's butterflies these were from AliExpress and they weren't very expensive, but I thought they look good for tattoos, don't they? They're the right size. There's butterflies there again, flowers again. Yeah, lots of different like coloured flowers. These are uh, like feathers and because, and they're poppies look, because they're so small, there's hearts there. Yeah, there are more butterflies. They're ever so easy to apply. You put them in a bowl of water, you cut out which one you want, put it in a bowl of water. There's some lips and mouths on there. And then you, it will float up and you just use a pair of tweezers to position it where you want it. And then once it's uh, dry, you just um, go over it with some um, varnish. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Well, that's not going to go on anybody's nails, is it? But yeah, that's like a big one. I suppose you could cut those flowers out individually, couldn't you, if you wanted to? But yeah, that's that's those. You get the idea, don't you? Lots of them and lots. And that's another big one. I suppose you could cut out bits individually. But 
yeah you get the idea of that lots of them and they weren't they weren't very expensive and i thought wow i could do loads with that and even um even use them on nails if i wanted to put them on my own nails which i do every now and then have a bit of a, a flurry on doing my nails not not very often but i do sometimes then I got another one of these smiley girls, just because she is so cute. The one I've got, the little dark haired one, I absolutely love her. And I'm gonna call her Penny. That was suggested by one of my uh, lovely watches. So thank you for that um, suggestion. She's called Penny. This one also needs a name. She's cute as well. I might call her Poppy. Poppy and Penny, yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? So she's got softish pink hair that i just love their little faces they they come off like this their heads do they come off really easily and this is the same body that i used for my to put my blithe head on and it was around six pounds which is you know really cheap it was six pounds for the whole doll so i just love her little smiley face and she also came with a little pair of black mary jane shoes which was good and then the last thing I have to show you is something I found at Asda. Um, these are normally £12 and I paid a fiver for it. So I thought that it's not something I've ever bought before because I've not I've, I've seen them and I thought, well, I'm not really, you know, they're too expensive. I thought at £5 it was worth a go. So here's the uh, sheet you get with her. And here's your collector's list and on that side you get like a little poster of them aren't they cute so you can get mermaid ones there's a boy one there's this butterfly one who looks like poppy rowan doesn't she she looks like a smaller version of poppy or poppy's little sister probably and then there's this blue one so i'll show you the one that i got so it comes all in plastic you have to undo all the plastic then you have to take the top off and to open this you have to press this down just a little bit if you press it too far glitter will come out of here it does come with stuff to mix into your slime the idea is that you fill your i've cut the bottom off mine so it'll stand straight and look just like a drink bottle but it's a plunger you fill that with water and you feed it to the doll and then she spits out the slime which you leave to set and then you can put your rainbow sparkle in it and then you can put it in your little pack it looks like mcdonald's doesn't it and that looks like mcdonald's too but yeah i used some uh, strong scissors to cut the plunger off so that it will stand flat on the side and look just like a like a drink bottle and here's who I got. I was so pleased with her for five pounds. I thought she's so cute. Yeah. So she's got like little pins in her hair, like little gold safety pins. She's got like a bit of shimmer on her hair, like a goldy shimmer. And she's called Kyra Ray. She's a rare apparently, not a super rare, but sort of in the middle. She's got her little wings there. She's got her little um, bikini on and her legs and that are shiny I thought she was super cute for a fiver I was really pleased with her yeah if I saw another one I might buy it um yeah like I say she does spit out glitter if you take her dummy out and feed her the water then you like she's got powder inside her which will turn to slime you spit it out leave it to set but I'm not going to do any of that because uh, yeah she's just cute as she is isn't she I don't want to mess her all up inside and you can reuse your pot to store her in so that's good so yeah that was my dolling for today so thank you again Dexter for that lovely happy mail that was really nice of you I hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now